Hello. Hello, hello. Just bear with me. Um, I have been doing research today. <laughs> Pokemon research. The best kind. And uh, I was looking at all the ones that I could get through um, the stones. Let me just do a quick sound test. And uh, I was look. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. Yep. All the technical stuff is up. But yeah. And I've got all of the Pokemon actually, apart from. Let me just tap into the game, that would probably help. <laughs> Apart from... Starmie and... Shelda, because I haven't done any fishing. Um, and I've got the Pokémon already, like, already to level up. I had to, well, to evolve, that's what I mean. I had to level up a few of them, Gloom, Weeping Bell, and Poliwhirl. So I just used the EXP share and went into the, like, abandoned mansion place for a fucking long time. <laughs> oh, and I, I did some, some Team Rocket stuff as well. The, the train is in the tower with the EXP share. Um, there is a... We've got Pikachu. What's the other one? Um, Egg... Egg Boy. Problem is, I don't think he's going to be in this box. It's a very recent box, yeah. Also put Slowpoke in this box because I need him to be a Slowbro, which is like 37 or something ridiculous. Um, and then these I caught like whilst I was leveling up. Uh, but yeah, once he's a Slowbro, I can trade him for a Lickitung, like an NPC trade. Right, so we have to find... is it e Execute? Probably box three. E exe e execute? I feel like I've gone past it. Unless I don't have one. But this isn't one that I thought you needed a stone for. Oh, there he is. Yeah, apparently you do. Okay, let's change the box back. It doesn't matter if there's, like, holes. <laughs> like, spaces. I don't care. It's all fine. Um, I don't even know if I have enough money for, like, all of the stones. I probably don't, because it's, it's like, five different stones. In fact, let's, let's group them together. So we've got three that are leaf, leafy stone, one thunder, one water, and then two other water, but we, we don't have that. We don't have those Pokemon yet. Uh, is it this next one? I think it might be. Yes, it is. Okay, so one thunder. Oh, we do have enough. One water. Three leaf. And uh, may as well buy the two more water whilst we're here. That way, if we die, we don't lose too much money as well. get outside. Okay, we ready? Uh, first, let's do Polyhwirl. <gasps> Is it Poly... Polyrath? It just looks the same. <laughs> like, exactly the fucking same. Wow, he looks the same. He, he got um, smaller pupils and also um, eyelids. I mean, that's evolution for you. 
It's a little cute little Pikachu. Oh, it just looks like a fat, fat Pikachu with a long tail. Like someone pulled on his tail <laughs> and it stretched out. Um, I think it, yeah, in Pokemon Yellow, Pikachu actually has a voice line, like from the anime, I think, but like horribly bit crushed. Uh, and then, execute. So our Pokedex is now over a hundred, because I think it was ninety-nine when I started, like five minutes ago. Wow! <laughs> I hate it. Although, yeah, this one I hate too. <laughs> Victory Bell, not as much. Uh, Weeping Bell is, it looks weird, and it's a weird name. It just, uh, yeah. And then Gloom. I quite like Fire Plume. I don't know why. Just a flower Pokemon, she's happy. That's kind of cute. Should probably name it Plant. Yeah, I'm gonna name go name it Plant. That's what a nan would would want. I need my Mew. <laughs> I need my Mew back. The rest, though, we can just we can just shove in here. Get the fuck in here. They all have to make a noise, don't they? <laughs> okay. Jeez. Uh, Mew? And... Spoons? And if we can, get the Chansey as well. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we do have one spot. We do have one space. I was thinking it might be Hitmonchan. Uh, fly. Fly away. Um, oh, I've, I probably should have looked up, like, you know, where I actually find the water ones, but probably just fishing. Vile Plume, it, it appears to have uh, lost its name. I mean, I, I know what happened, I traded it. <laughs> traded it for a Pokemon I needed. Um, plant. Plant. Hello, welcome Sam. Welcome in. Don't, don't tell Anand that I traded Plant away. This is the one that she's always known, uh, but we evolved it. We evolved it today. I might keep it on me, actually. Why not? We'll just put it at the bottom. Um, so we got the Slif... Slifco, Silfco, what is it fucking called? We can we can beat Giovanni at the top of that. Well, I mean, I say we we can, but we can try. And we can try and get a Shelda and a what was the other one? A Starmie. I think that you can get them on the way to the Pokemon League. Okay, <laughs> I just took the elevator to the floor that I'm on. Good, good job. How 
many floors are there? Uh, oh shit, okay, that's quite a lot. Um, let's, let's say floor 8. I don't know if it is exactly. Oh yeah, I also leveled up um, Dragonair a little bit, just because that kind of happened with leveling the lower level Pokémon. And I taught, I taught them Rest, and it's been quite useful. Um, but I'm thinking Rage is, is not that useful right now, or probably won't be. Because we don't have anything that's easy, where you can just like, smash through them all real quick. Uh, so it's, it's just a risky move that is never like, done. Yeah, in the 40s, yep. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's, it's this floor. Uh, and we should have, yeah, we should have uh, done every single person in here, apart from this floor. We always thought the rage was pretty dangerous slash useless in this gen, yes. The only time it would be ever useful is if you know that you can win no matter what. Oh wait, uh, what what kept you, Ink? And then I've got to <laughs> read the rest and go. Haha, I thought you'd turn up if something. <laughs> I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Okay. But yeah, Body Slam would probably just be overall better than Rage more controllable. The only reason I would want it is to save on power points, but if I'm not using it, it means I use my other moves, which drains my other moves, so it doesn't it doesn't help. And right now, the only other attack move is Swift, and eventually Thunder Wave will be um, Dragon Rage. No, Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam, that's it. Um, yeah, I could have Dragon Rage. It's a set damage though, isn't it? That's the only issue with that. Um, or I could have something else instead of Body Slam. I think there's like... Not Whirlwind, but like one kind of like that. That I could learn. You do like the set damage moves? I like them for things where it's like... Say like a chancy. <laughs> it would like it would really be worth it for something that doesn't have high attack or high special attack. I quite like the moves that don't miss. Yeah, you can't buff against it or have uh, stats lowered. Yeah, like I do quite like Nightshade as well for Gengar because I. I I know roughly how much HP a Pokémon will have, like a wild Pokémon, and if I know that it's over its level, then I, I kind of feel safe. It's like, yeah, it's fine. It's not going to kill it. Let's try and put it to sleep. But also Nightshade, I think is, yeah, it's Ghost. It's a Ghost type. Kind of useless, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, it has 45 damage. It, it doesn't matter on type, does it? It would be nice if it did. If it did 45 damage, plus, like, whatever it is. Like, what is it? Like, 25% extra or 15% extra? For type match? Let's change back to Dragonair. I only switched out because it had low um, what's the word? It got stand, stand attacked, but then I guess the only other thing is rage, so 
Weaknesses, 1.5 damage. Gen 1 crit is two times. Okay, yeah. Like, Gen 1 crit did always feel... worse. To be hit with. I think, like, 1.5 is, is better. Like, is a lot better. Ooh. Look at this. Ah, wonderful. It's not amazing, because uh, Dragonair doesn't actually have that much HP. Hmm. So I would have to use the Poker Flute. And then it, it could do another, like, 40 damage. So instead... Gonna switch out. Although if it did that, uh, it's not. It's not too bad. Hmm. How much health do we think it has? Yes. Yes. Alakazam. Yeah, I think we'll do Alakazam against Alakazam. And then teleport out of the way. No. Just, I, I guess just Psychic. No, I'm gonna keep it. Let's let's try and keep it. Wow. Uses rage. Rip. I mean that's a real bad time to learn to learn to uh, use rage. Although I guess I did go first, so they they didn't know. I keep not reading what he says. Eight feet rogue. Oh no! So you are ready for boss something? <laughs> well, Ink, I'm moving up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. Okay. <laughs> I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Ink, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. <laughs> I thought he said smell you later every time, but he, he can't even be bothered to do that. Oh yeah, and there's this guy. Oh, hi. You're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want to... I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. I mean, I haven't saved you. Oh yeah, anyway. Do you want to give a nickname to Lapras? No. There's no more room. Sent to... Oh, PC. Okay, good. <laughs> it's Lapras. It's very intelligent. Uh, we kept it in our lab. Oh, well, that doesn't sound nice. Uh, but it will be much better off with you. Yeah, I, I would guess so. Um, in a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's better than labs for uh, animals, usually. I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. I'll give it'll, it'll give you a lift. Okay. Does it no surf? I bet it doesn't. Oh yeah. Um, we can use this out of battle, right? Now that's a catchy tune. <laughs> No, it didn't work. Well... Just heal everything up a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, we can always go back, because there's, there's that lady near the beds who lets us sleep in the beds. Although, yeah, they don't say anything about sleeping, do they? I just assume that it is, because there's beds there. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> We're asleep. Did that wake you up? No. Why does the poker flute sound like something that would actually put you to sleep rather than wake you up? Poker flute should work in the field, I swear I've used it like that. Yeah, I swear I have as well, but it might have been like fire red that I did. Just a later game, in general. that never affects? Oh, it's, it's too late. Okay, that's not bad. Focused energy to use Leah. Nice. That's what I like to see. the door. We will never need that card key ever again. But I'm just gonna go heal. Just because I can. Because it's, it's like right here. And because I'm a baby. In fact, I'm not really sure what to use against him. Probably Psychic? Actually, let's... Let's move it up so my, my main three are up here. Like, they all are pretty much the same level now, which is kind of weird to think. Since one of them isn't fully evolved yet. So we'll use... I'm going to use Grim, because they probably do some normal type stuff. I might be able to avoid. Ah, Ink. So we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters or experience a world of pain. Pokemon battle pain! <laughs> this is a, another time where the, like, the characters don't have the same Pokemon that they do in the anime. Because I remember him having Rhyhorn, right? But I don't think he actually has one in the game. Genghiskan. Genghiskan. <laughs> I always fuck that up. Got it. I thought that might take two. Oh, here's Rhyhorn. I don't think he has a Rhy a Rhydon. Although neither do we. <clears throat> 46. Look at them numbers. 
Yeah, Nido Queen. I think he has a Nido King as well, like later on. Yeah, poison type. Super effective. Okay, that was actually quite easy. Ah, I lost again? Oh yeah, we we did beat him before as well. Here's four grand. Blast it. You ruined our plans for Sylph, but Team Rocket will never fall. Ink, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. <laughs> okay, I must go, but I shall return. Okay, well, let's see what's on this computer. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just a straight-up computer. What is Professor Oak's PC? Is that like he assesses your Pokedex? Yeah. Access it. Access po uh, Pokedex rating system. Want to get po Pokedex rated? Sure. Pokedex completion is... Uh, 129 seen, 105 owned. Rating is, you finally got at least 100 species. I can't believe how good you are. <laughs> Thanks, uh, P Professor Oak. Hello? Oh, secretary. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage. Why, why, uh, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. President. <laughs> That's just his name. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way, because I am rich. I can give you anything. Here, yeah, maybe this will do. Is it eternal happiness? No, it's a master ball. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> now I can go catch a Mewtwo. Actually, you can't buy that anywhere, and unless you cheat and put that code in where you can buy them instead of Pokeballs. It's our secret poke, uh, poke type <laughs> prototype Master Ball. Uh, it will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Okay. okay. Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell nobody where you got it. Oh, okay, sir. I'll just go catch the amazing, amazingly powerful legendary Pokemon with it. I mean, we can't do it yet anyway. We have to do it after the Elite Four, don't we? Oh, <laughs> she won't heal me anymore. She's like, no. No free heals now. Alright, so that's this tower complete. Which also means that the Team Rocket people are not outside the gym anymore. So we can go and fight Sabrina. Or try to. Now, I don't know if there is a strategy to getting through Sabrina's gym and like getting every single trainer um but I usually just wing it and uh, hope for the best is it like a 3x3 three three? Oh, I don't really remember I remember it's kind of like complicated, but not at the same time. Oh, um, yeah, let's get rid of Rage. I think that TM8 is Body Slam. That's the wrong one. Uh, but we also no longer need... Um, uh, it, uh, I don't know what that is. What is three? May as well put these away for now. And the Master Ball. And the card key. We will never need. Alright, let's see what number three is. 
Swords Dance? Nope. I'll just sell that. Okay, wrong one again. Or is it is it four? Maybe maybe seven? There's eight. <laughs> I'll take out eight as well. It really makes it quite difficult, doesn't it? But they must have done the TM thing to, like, save space. Because you only have to change two of the tiles. Right. It's got to be one of those. Let's go with the one that I thought it was to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> eight. What are these? Horn drill? Okay. Well, now I want to look up horn drill. Uh, well, if I just look up Dragonite. Dragonite! Or, well, Dragonair, even. Horn drill, oh, it, it does a certain amount of damage. Hondrill is a one-hit KO move? Oh, okay. So its accuracy is really low then? Uh, yes, this is like 30. Okay, it's one of those. Yeah. Like Guillotine and Fisher. Like, Body Slam is, is pretty good. 85 damage and 100 accuracy. Razor Wind was the other one, not Whirlwind. But it's only 80, it's not 85. And 100 accuracy. It only affects things for the same or lower level. Ah, uh, okay. So it's useless. Hmm. Got a rage starts at 20. <laughs> wow. I just wish there was physicals that it could learn. That would like type as well. That'd be really nice. But no, they're all normal. Uh, we'll just go with with um, body slam. Like takedowns, a little bit more damage, but it's a lot less accuracy. And what's it, what's for? Whirlwind. We don't want that. Everyone can learn body slam, even Grim. <laughs> Who doesn't have a body? Right, which move? We could get rid of Thunder Wave for now, and then replace Rage. Sword Dance, wasn't it? Sword Dance and Whirlwind. Yeah. My god. Did I... Did I, did I, did I heal? That yeah, looks good. Where's my bicycle? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I put it in the PC to save space. Well, I wish instead of a bicycle they gave you running shoes, like in all the others. Or just infinite space. Either one. Either one's good. X accuracy. We never use shit like that in battle. Let's try a little bit of this. What's the other thing we could do? We could try and find a Shelter and a Staryu. Um, 
Or we can even go after like legendary birds. Ah, fuck. <laughs> My fucking arm. My shoulder. You know, we've never spoken to these guys. So, uh, they just give you like little tips. Sabrina's Pokemon use psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokemon are weak against psychic Pokemon. They get cream before they can even aim a punch. Okay. We'll see how difficult they are. Oh no, it is a small... thing? It, it, Slowpoke reminds me of the dinosaur out of um, the Flintstones. I think it's its mouth. Okay, well, Body Slam works. It is indeed a move that we can use. I'm gonna swap it for this, so Rage is like way out of the way. Problem is, is that Rest and Rage look very similar if you're like looking very quickly. Oh, it's only 15, but it's 15 more power points that we can use. Like I ran out all the time when I was training the lower level Pokemon with the EXP fall or EXP share. Slow, bro. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that it does that it does that as well. Nice. Got him. So yeah, that's a wall there, that's the entrance, and then, shit, <laughs> and then yeah, this one is the one that we did, which is the other corner, and there's the entrance. So it is a 3x3 three three grid. Are these like, ghost people? Ghost trainers? <laughs> Not ghost people. Those are just called ghosts. Oh, a channeler, that's it. Right, well, let's just hope that Swift actually hits. The move that can never miss, uh, it just missed. Okay, because they're all normal types. So, uh, rip. Spoons, though. I guess, like, Spoons uses silver spoons. Okay, shit. <laughs> so, uh, he can affect them. <laughs> we just need to play the song of his people, get him in the fighting spirit, and then bam. So Lick didn't affect him. <laughs> Interesting. This is the top, right? So we're sort of doing all the corners. First. Like, as long as I remember that, it's not too bad a strategy. Okay, good. Weak. Weaker Babby. Weak Babby defense Pokemon. Oh shit, but they're very quick. 
Yes. Okay. That disable didn't last long. Body slam, Mr. Mime. <laughs> she. Right, something we could do is we could get rid of the paralyzation. I think Mr. Mime's kind of safe. Like, I don't think he has a crazy special attack or anything. This is where he kills us. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't seem too bad. Me. <laughs> okay, even though his defense got um, heightened quite a bit, it didn't matter. Look at that, we're into a hundred attack now. Which doesn't seem huge, I've got to say. Wow, we, we went first? I guess we are over ten levels higher. we can just somehow yeah now we have all the corners that was a slow bro Body slam will definitely do it. A swift might, but oh shit. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay, now a swift will. All right, so all four corners are done. Yeah, my save time is like quite a lot higher just from the training because I whenever I do stuff like that wait so where is this in the in the middle I think yeah middle top so I just have the middle the whole middle row uh yeah the whole middle row where's this is middle column okay Actually, I should be able to tell by the sprite that it's a channeler and that they're going to have ghost types. We're such a big boy. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> I didn't change again. No, it doesn't matter. Just means uh, Dragon Air gets a bit of EXP. 38, level 38. 
Uh, that was the wrong thing, but oh well. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna use Dream Eater. Or not. find the other side. Oh. <laughs> Straight away. So that's that's everyone in the gym. Apart from the gym leader who's right in the middle. Why is Mr. Mime so creepy? strat is working well. Just having a Pokemon that has high physical. Alright, now we've got to figure out how to get out. Wow, okay. Well, that was easy. And then it's just the gym leader left. I think I'll take the, the bicycle out of the PC as well. on the escape. Yeah, that was weirdly easy. Just like straight away. Just like, oh, I want to get out of here. I wonder if there's like a logic to like where they are. Right, hopefully the bike will just be at the bottom. Somewhere. much quicker. Uh, so the strat that I do, that I know gets me there eventually, is you just like pick either to go across like this every time, or to go up and down like every time, and you'll just get there eventually. <laughs> I think. Watches just end up back near the start. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to try and use Dragonair. Just try and get that good EXP. Uh, I have psychic powers since I was a child. Uh, I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Okay. It always sounds like... Uh, they're not talking about the Pokemon, doesn't it? God, and her episode was like a creepy doll thing, where they like trapped people's minds in some puzzle. <laughs> it's really fucking terrifying. I think that was Sabrina anyway. No, he slapped. Cut forty five. Okay. It, it is now. Oh, Dragon Rage. Yeah, we'll, we'll have Dragon Rage instead of Rage. It's like. 
you know, taking on the brand. We'll use it just to see the graphic. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's that. It's, it's basically flamethrower, but blue. But it, yeah, it's one of those ones that does a set amount of damage. That was a lot of damage. She does have an Alakazam. She has her own spoons. Um, nice one, Alakazam. Great opener. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was more appropriate there. Okay, paralyzed. Nice. And then we somehow got the got the attack straight away. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. And four grand. The Marsh, bag, uh, Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. 46. Psy Wave. So that is another one that's like a set amount, isn't it? Psy Wave. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we can just do it in reverse. Might take a while, but... Eventually. <laughs> any, any minute now. So yeah, there are points where you could have taken a shortcut quite easily. I suppose, like, if you just know a few moves in what is attached to what, then you can probably get out, sort of, no matter what. So, we only have one badge left. Wow. is here. Huh. I'm gonna try and fish in the sea. There is, there's loads of trainers as well in the sea. But you guys wouldn't happen to know where to find a star you and a shelter, would you? A Shelby. I have I have fought these. Both of them. <laughs> he looks so weird. Although, if we've seen one, can't we do that thing on the Pokedex where we see where where you can get them? I think I'll try that. be one that doesn't have a Pokeball next to it. Oh yeah, Psyduck I don't have. Wait, or, oh, yeah, Primate. Or a 
Magnemite. Oh, here we go. Shelter. Area. Apparently I'm quite close to it, even though I'm not there on the map. I'm I'm up quite a bit from there. Because we've not gone down and around the corner. Like it's kind of showing. No. Go away, wait. What is beyond the horizon? Well, if you plan to swim, they're probably death. Unless you're a really good swimmer. So these kind of fights, where I don't feel like they're too much of a threat, it, it would be good to have rage for stuff like this. Especially if they've got tons of Pokemon each. But then, you know, you're not really getting much EXP, so you're kind of just doing it just to sort of get all the trainers. Just to, like, fight all the trainers. I fully expect there'll be ones that I've missed, though. Hopefully not in places that I can't <clears throat> that I can't get to again. Like uh, the SSN and stuff. Guess there's not really way uh, any way of like actually checking though, is there? Some of the trainers that I defeated off stream would have been in the Team Rocket place and they would have uh, all disappeared now from that place. I'm pretty sure I got everyone though. Is there another guy somewhere? what a swift will do. Oh, and ten levels, and they'll evolve. Yeah, swift doesn't quite kill them. But it probably will now. Guess not a shelter. <laughs> Shelters probably have more defense, which makes sense. Okay, here's the corner. <laughs> okay, we're just uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go to here. Right now, I don't know if the Pokedex meant like outside of here, or if they meant inside the cave that's here. Do one more of each. Yeah, 
Yeah, not sure if this is just really unlucky. Seafoam uh, <laughs> uh. Islands. <laughs> Fucking seal. Do another one of those. Should be about right. Nice. Okay. Easy. I think you can also get a dugong in this place. But it's, it's like a the rare catch. So this is like, you have to use the boulders. Uh, to block a current. down real far. <gasps> Look who it is. I mean, it's not who we came here for, but I'll take it. I'll take it and I'll evolve it. Let's switch to Chansey. Sing? Oh shit. <laughs> it knows recover. Of course it does. Okay, maybe it'd be better to use Grim, who knows hypnosis and a uh, nightshade. Don't die. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! For fuck's sake, stop! Woke up straight away. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Okay. So Nightshade will kill it. Ugh, oh, nice. This shouldn't be too difficult to catch. But sometimes they're just really fucking annoying. I don't know if we did this already. Right, is that in the water? Yes. It it like automatically pushes you there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, secrets? And there actually was. remember it being a bit of a pain getting back up. I don't know where I am. But yeah, you have to put both of the boulders down. 31? Maybe they're a slow bro in here, actually. Oh 
Oh shit, look who it is. Holy fuck, <laughs> it's a high level. Don't growl at me. Oh, okay. So ice is the weakness of dragons. Use. I'll, I'll use Chansey, which seems like a bad idea, actually. <laughs> the, the level difference. Aurora Beam. Look at that, though. Chansey just has a shit ton of health. Aurora Beam. Eh, fucking shrug it off. Didn't affect it well. <laughs> just keep trying. The first time I was like, I don't know if Chansey is just going to get one hit killed, and now I'm like, Chansey's a fucking tank. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Next Pokemon? Yeah, I guess. Please don't kill Grim. He is a weak baby. <laughs> Compared to Chansey. Okay, weakened, pretty good, and sleeping. Ah, oh, perfect. Stores thermal energy in its body. Doesn't everyone do that? That's what that's what fat is. Uh, swims at a steady eight knots, even in intensely cold waters. Well, it is a nice type. Okay, there's there's quite a lot of like boulder puzzles happening down here. I don't know if that's part of it though. Can't go slower than eight knots. <laughs> as soon as it touches the water, it just speeds away at exactly eight knots all the time. Let's see. If I use my Pokemon. Constant body temperature and extreme heat. That sounds ideal. I would like that power, please. Let, let me just think about this a second. <laughs> I can get that other one out of the way. Wait, Seal has a horn on its head? Is that right? Breaking through ice. I thought it was just um, Dugong that did. I just remember Seal being really just not designed, just like literally just a seal. <laughs> so I kind of didn't really think of it with anything on his head. Okay, we're gonna try. Gonna try Grim. You better hope it has more than 46 health. It should. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I did a lot more than I thought. Wow, it really doesn't have much health, does it? You'd think that something like that would be a little bit tanky. Alright, so we have... Yeah, that's, that's all of the evolutions through stones. We've done all of the stone evolutions. Including moonstones. And all the trade evolutions. So we've sort of done all the, all the tricky-ish ones. Okay, we, we blocked off the current here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. But who would we even use? I guess, I guess Grim? Do like some psychic shit and then... Some other stuff? <laughs> Wait, so how do I get over to the other side here?
I think that once once you've got the rocks in place as well, they they stay there. It like saves. Oh, this is the yeah, that's the current. That's where you get washed in. Boulders might change the flow of water. Okay, so this is the only ladder that goes to, like, this side. A horsey! Kill it! Also, the legendary birds are level 50, aren't they? So they're actually higher than me. Yeah, not not super comfortable fighting them. Look at his dumb little face. to get to the other side, because the this thing here is just going to drop down. Alright, so what's up here? I, I remember going here before, like, I came from up here. Hmm. Like, we could just leave? Never to return. Okay, so I need to block that off there. And then I can freely go around that bit. But I don't know how to get, like, above on this side. Maybe I have to go out of the cave and come at the cave from a different angle. So just go down into the water. I wonder what would happen if you did that. Well, I guess you can't possibly do that without a Pokemon that knows um, Surf. Because you can't be here without a Pokemon that knows Surf. I guess, I guess they thought of that. And that was what they put in to prevent it. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here and evolve those Pokemon, and... Then we can go to the electric place. Get a Magnemite, and the little orb things. <laughs> Electrode and a Voltorb. Oh shit, <laughs> I need to be up there, okay. Well, I have something for just such an occasion. See ya! Right, so the power plan. Um, yeah, it's from here. So you go here, and then you go to the right. So we'll heal. We'll put some Pokemon away and then get those out and level them up. And we'll put away Plant. <laughs> and probably Chansey, since Chansey isn't something that we always need. 
So Shelda and Star You, wasn't it? accidentally used it or tried to use it on the wrong thing. What? It's evolving! Who knew? I wonder how they did discover this. I, I guess, like, someone took their Pokémon into the cave or wherever they find these stones, and the Pokémon like, stood on the stones? <laughs> I don't know. And it was like... <laughs> for a little bit, and then it turned into a slightly larger Pokémon. That is weird though, isn't it? The whole concept is weird. So I do like um, Starmie, because it knows Recover. Uh, but that's kind of the only reason. I mean, it knows Recover, and it's it's not a Psychic type. It's like half Psychic, so, you know, it can still have water moves and be good. Be, like, decent. Actually, what moves does it have? Um, tackle, Water Gun, Harden, and Recover. That's, like, pretty standard. So it does have a water move, and it does know Recover, like, already. Um, well... I say that, it's level 30, so it's actually quite high. Like, when you think about it. Yeah, there is also Zapdos in the power plant, but I don't want to fight him. <laughs> scary. Also, I wouldn't use it either. I wouldn't use any of the legendary birds. Like, people usually do that their first time round, and then the second and third, they're just like, meh. Meh. Because, like, they're not something that you get early on. So you don't don't really care. <laughs> I don't care about them. Like, yeah, their stats are pretty alright, but meh. Is this a trainer? Wow, you're a Pokemaniac too. Wanna see my collection? No. No, I don't. So, it might be best to use Dragon Rage in this situation, because I think Rhyhorn has high defense. Let's just see how much Swift will do. Well, it, it's only level 30, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not, not very effective. Lick a tongue. This is what <laughs> this is what we have to trade for. Look how fucking derpy it looks. So when we tried the Pokemon tabletop RPG that that was super fucking complicated and uh, and like crunchy, <laughs> like you had to stop every five minutes to check what the fuck was going on because the rules are just kind of like that. I wanted to have a theme of just, like, pink Pokémon. So, Chansey, and, like, Wigglytuff, and Clefable. 
and lick a tongue. And that's as far as I could think. <laughs> oh shit. So some of these are not items. I think that we have a Vault Orb. Yeah, we do. It's level 40? What the fuck? Maybe I shouldn't be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just killed it in one, no, no big deal. Level 40 though, holy crap. This music is crazy. This is the first time I have ever played Pokemon this far in, whilst listening to the music the whole time. Oh, it's a Pikachu! Like, on the original Game Boy, I always had the sound off to, to save the battery. And uh, if I play, if I play this like, on an emulator or anything like that since, it's like, well, emulators can do, you know, like, double the speed, if not more. And it kind of fucks up the music, so again, I, I play it without any sound. 33. So yeah, a lot of this music is like the first time I'm, I'm really hearing it. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, there's also Electabuzz. Electabuzz. I used to say Electrobuzz. I think a lot of people probably do. But I think it's Electabuzz. I knew it. I wonder if there's a secret behind it, though, because there's like a space. Can, can I just run? <laughs> I want to just see if I can just run. Yep. No? Oh, no secret. Unless I had to use an item finder. Oh, fuck. Some of these will be electrodes. But they're going to be really difficult to catch because they explode themselves. Actually, we should put Grim first. Because we know that self-destruct does not affect ghost types. Which is real fucking good. Meep. I sure hope you've got more than 46 health. Oh my god, <laughs> I think it has 47 health. Do I even need to use Hypnosis? Uh, may as well. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Really? Could probably get a Magneton as well in this area. TM25. Also known as Oh Thunder. Mm. <laughs> I do love that you can just run away. Trick me? Well, I'll just run away. I wonder if the electrodes are going to be like level 40 as well. Oh, she. It's level 33. Okay, so Nightshade, I don't think we'll kill him. 
Okay, and he's and he's orange. That's that's not great. Well, yellow. Because if he was still green, that would mean I could do another. So instead, we'll we'll try and hypnosis. But this is the main reason why we're here. This guy. Yeah, once I'm out of Pokeballs as well, I'm not sure if I should buy more. Just like normal ones. Maybe I should. I think that I'll use Ultra only on the Legendaries, and then Master Ball on Mewtwo. That's, that's probably like... just the simplest way to do it, really. But I'll want at least 50, like, Ultra Balls each time I try. So then, like, restock each time. Oh, he woke up. Um, but yeah, I probably will save Scum for it as well. Like, I'll save the game properly before each encounter. And then if shit goes wrong, I can just, like, reset the old traditional way. Yeah, save states just for the Safari Zone. Because fuck the Safari Zone. I've, I've done it once in my life, <laughs> and that's enough. Okay, we might have to start using Ultra Balls at this rate. Stay in the ball. Maybe it's because I'm not pressing down and B. But here's, here's the better trick than the down and B trick. If you never press down and B, that is, is just better. <laughs> as soon as you press down and B, you curse your game and you won't be able to catch things as, as well, as easily. So the trick is to never press it. People should spread that rumor around. And then people won't be so stupid. They'll still do it though. And like I, I remember like all sorts of things. In fact, the down and B thing, I remember being in a magazine, but I don't remember if it was like a serious thing or if um, it was like tongue in cheek or if it was just talking about how it was a thing people were trying to do. <laughs> but I don't know. The magazine probably was just like, we don't know if it works or anything, but. A lot of people are doing this shit. Not uh, free stuff? Rare candy. HP up. Oh yeah, the HP ups I'm gonna give to Chansey. So much for being rare. Well, I don't think that they're rare as such. I think that they're just uh, hard to catch.
Have we missed a room? Oh shit. Look who it is. So he's 43. Does this never work? There we go. Right now I'm gonna also try and get a nightshade. Yeah, maybe two. Although he'll probably be awake again by then. I just don't want him to explode. Okay, here we go. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I think that was really lucky. Because he's on really low health, I think that the next thing he'll do is self-destruct. If we can't catch one of these, though, we can just evolve one. Okay, well, never mind. He shall be called Boomer. God, this, this place is fucking massive. I have somehow missed a room. I saw there was like items in a room. Oh, also. Let's uh, heal. And that is Zapdos, and we're not going to go near, the, near it. Let's say nope. Gau, or whatever it says. Yeah, I think it is Gau. Do they all say that? I think, yeah, I think they do. Gau! <laughs> what kind of a bird says that? A legendary one, I guess. A fucking legend. Right, the room is, is down here, look. There's shit in there. I need it. Also, if we come across a mag magnet magneton, oh shit. Okay, <laughs> magnetron, mag magneton. Okay, just sounds fucking saying it as well. Hopefully, they don't know self destruct. Ooh, they have like fuck all health. But we are wasting ultra balls on them, but. Meh. <laughs> oh look, a big sparkly bird. Probably leave it alone, to be honest. I mean, you would though, wouldn't you? If you saw a bird that was like, had all electric shit all around it, you'd be like, I'm not going near that. No. Or one that's on fire? No. Or one that is like, sparkling with ice? Also no. Magneton. Magnet. <laughs> What is that second thing? Is it like the magnet Pokemon? We've caught so much shit today. In fact, this whole tower, this whole tower, this whole power plant, we've caught everything in it apart from apart from the Gawu. <laughs> Never get to that room. Maybe that's just a Jake room. Um, I think that you might be able to get Raichu in here, but I don't know. Prob probably. Pro well, yeah, I really don't know. Because it is one that you evolve through a stone. But then you can just buy the stone. I really need some repels. <laughs> this corridor is just, um, 
it's just got like a family of Pikachu trying to cross it. Oh my god, really? I'm just like stepping on loads of little Pikachu, going from one mouse hole to the other. <laughs> What's happening? Pikachu, fuck off! <laughs> Go away! And then happy music plays. And Pikachu was never heard of again. Well, <laughs> seems to have done it. You know what? I should have bought another escape rope. I mean, I, I should buy a few. Or have a Pokemon that knows Dig. That's also an option. I'll just fight it for the EXP. Special attacks. I don't think Nightshade counts. Yeah, it doesn't. Another reason why Nightshade is pretty good. Swift? Grim isn't isn't affected by Swift. Okay. Well, I guess it is a normal type move and all that, but... Wow. Secrets! I don't know, just... Swift is supposed to never miss. That's its thing. And it looks kind of magical as well. If any normal move were to affect ghosts, I would I would bet it would be swift. Am I <laughs> am I on the way out? I think I think this is where I came from. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Thank fuck for that. Okay. <laughs> Fly. Okay, so, um... Let's go back to the, the first ever town we were in, not including the one we live in. And then go to the Pokemon place and beat them all up. Beat them all up with spoons. Or who is like... Who's the lowest level yet is spoons? Starmie. Uh, may, as well, may as well just keep Starmie there. Actually, no. I'm going to change it out for Hitmonchan, just so I can look at what moves he already has. Oh, I'm going to have to like fuck around with the boxes. I'm going to guess box two. No, no, no. I pressed the wrong thing. Uh, Hitmonchan. There you go. Man. Uh, 70 attack at level 30. That's, that's not bad. Special is very shit. So Comet Punch and Agility. So they, they pretty much don't really know any moves right now. Yeah, special is really terrible. Hmm. Like, uh, another good attacker is, is Wigglytuff. But the moves that they know are just kind of bland. I really don't know. I really don't know what my like last Pokemon in the team should be. Go 
little Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Why? Why you do that? <laughs> Rip. Taurus. Oh shit. That's another Safari Zone one. That I, I haven't looked for. Okay, so so Taurus Tor Taurus <laughs> Ta Taurus and uh Genghis Khan. <laughs> I have to think about that, holy shit. I have to try and not say Genghis Khan. Why did they make it so similar though? Why why do Pokemon do this? But yeah, as is tradition. We're gonna fight all the trainers first. Wow, look at this guy. Level 43 Machoke. You know, if you trade that, it, uh, it gets better. Apparently Taurus is a really good PvP Pokemon. Yeah, it is really high attack, isn't it? I remember looking at high attack Pokemon and finding like, that's how I sort of found out about uh, Dragonite. Because I've always kind of liked Dragonite. And then, you know, seeing that it has, like, pretty good attack. Pretty good stats. But I think that Taurus is, like, the highest attack. Something really dumb like that. And it's also got, like, good speed. Taurus is Earthquake. Damn. I don't know though, I just never really liked Taurus. It's it's just a bull. <laughs> That's all it is. Like I, I much I was gonna say, I much prefer Nido King and Nido Queen. But then I already have a poison type. I don't know, I really need to think more about movesets than anything else. Like, that's that's why I thought um, Hitmonchan. But seeing his special stat, it just means, like, if he gets hit by one psychic attack, then he's fucked. Like, with, it, with a terrible special and, you know, being weak to psychic. I should just, um, I should just guess... Ugh. I should just get Chansey to like level 10 million and uh, just solo everything with Chansey. Tackle Stomp, Tail Whip, Leer, Rage, and Takedown. So it, it doesn't learn Earthquake, or do I have to like teach it Earthquake? Because I, yeah, I do have Earthquake, don't I? Stomp? I don't even like Stomp that much. Or am I thinking of Slam? Is Stomp, like, like it doesn't hit too often? But yeah, its Rage is probably not too bad. I wonder how much health it has as well, if it's got a, a, a huge amount of health then its rage might actually be quite good. You don't think Slam has a good hit ratio? Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it did. But is Stomp like similar? It might just be because they look kind of similar in word form <laughs> that I've associated that. I remember one of my friends, when, when we were 10, his Pikachu knew Slam, I think. I might I might be misremembering that, but... And he was like, yeah, I couldn't... He's, he knows Slam, and then <laughs> he would use it every time. And it would just miss half the time. And he'd be like, oh, well, if it hits once, then, like, it'll do really well. It's like, yeah, but... At this rate, it has to do, like, 
you know, three times better than just using something else. But yeah, hit, uh, moves that don't hit too often, I find a little bit annoying. Yeah, Pikachu gets slam in yellow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember what version he had. He did have a Game Boy Color, so it was probably around the time of Pokemon Yellow. Stomp can make people flinch. Oh, okay, so it's like similar to Bite. Because I like Bite. I like Bite a lot. Wait, there's items in this gym? That's weird. Sixty-five power, hundred attack. Okay, that's pretty good. Like that's yeah, that's pretty good. What what is bite then, in comparison to that? I imagine bite is very similar. Bite might be the equivalent, like you know how scratch and tackle are sort of like similar. It might be like that. Slam is 80 power and pretty much 75 accuracy. Well, so bite is is 65 and 100. Or um, no, sorry, stomp. Bite is 65 power. Okay, so stomp is exactly the same as bite. Oops. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is the equivalent then. It's just like thematically different for certain Pokemon. Because like a Taurus learning Bite, you wouldn't think would be too effective. Or, or make like too much sense. Did I go up that way? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, that was that was that whip guy. It was just that I had to go around here, okay. I think that, that is everyone apart from maybe one more trainer. Or well, no, well, that, that is it. Okay. <laughs> moves he has left. I think he should be okay. Yeah, look, I think he'll be alright. Fwahahaha! <laughs> this is my hideout. What? The fucking gym. The gym in the middle of town. It's his secret hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here, but you have <laughs> caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni. The greatest trainer. Sure. <laughs> sure thing, Giovanni. How about some of this? Uh, 
знаю. Most of his Pokémon should be very easy. Especially that Rhyhorn went down. Um, I think he has Nido Queen, Nido King, and maybe Kangaskhan. There'll be one day where I have to say Genghis Khan, and instead I will say Genghis Khan, but hopefully no one will notice. <laughs> I don't think anyone would. Or, oh, do you think, like, one day everyone will say Genghis Khan? <laughs> and then, like, in, in, like, hundreds of years' time, they'll have to be like, oh, actually, it changed because there was a, a thing in, in popular culture where they used that word, but they changed it slightly and it just got into people's heads. Okay, he does have a ride on. Tail whip. <laughs> nice. The only move he got in. Shocking, you a Pokemon trader? Uh, the very one who has been... <laughs> Systematically ruining my plans, found me a gym leader in my secret hideout, which itself is a gym. Yeah. And you need the badge to get to the Pokemon League, a thing that you want to do. Ha! That was truly intense fight. You have won. <laughs> As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Okay, he's kind of not very villain-like anymore. Now that he's like, have a have a badge for saying that you beat me. The Mafia boss, I mean, gym leader. <laughs> the Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey. It's evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. He's being very nice, isn't he? Oh, and he also gives you Fisher, doesn't he? This is Fisher. He'll take out any Pokemon with just one hit. I, I made it... He made it? Okay. I made it when I ran the gym here too long ago. <laughs> and then he awkwardly like looks around. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Uh, what? Okay. I didn't expect him to just straight up disappear, actually. <laughs> I just thought he was going to say like, oh, I'm going to start running the gym again. I, I don't think I've ever actually spoken to him. After beating him, I usually just walk out. <laughs> you can't hear ride on without adding lawnmower? Right. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Now I now I'm gonna be doing that every time. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Yeah, Ash's dad. Um, or was it Mr. Mime? <laughs> That's the real question. Holy shit! It's it's like actually been almost exactly two hours. So something we could do is go towards the Pokemon League. And I think we get challenged again, don't we? By, um... By Rogue. <laughs> by Rogue himself, with his leveled-up Pidgey. Uh, no, I want, I want Bicycle. Bicycle. Uh... There is a shop here, isn't there? Yeah. A mart. A market. I want... Oh. Uh, some of these. Mega Pidge. I'll go with like 50. Oh, that guy was in the text box. What a hero. I also want Escape Rope. I'm not sure where to get it though. I'm gonna guess here. 
would be one of the first places because you go through Mount Moon and it would just make sense to introduce the player to them at this point. Not heal, no. <laughs> you just go to the counter and you're like, one one escape rope, please. And they're like, uh, this is a, a Pokemon center. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. I'll never need more than 10, will I? Cut to, like, a couple sessions in the future where I'm like, damn, I'm out of escape rope. Although, I don't really know how how much longer there would be in this game. Um, I know the Elite Four takes a, a long time. I probably need to train before that. Yeah, let's switch. I probably need to do a lot of training. How many Pokemons have I caught? Let's, let's give it a save and we'll see. 116. Most of the ones I don't have are just ones that I need to level as well. Ink, what a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League. You collected all the badges too. That's cool. Uh, then I'll whip you, Ink, as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Well, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> He's going the wrong way! fair few then. Yeah, we we have been doing quite a lot of catching. Um, like, I would need to go through and like actually look at the ones that I haven't got that are like first evolution and actually go and get them, like Kangaskhan and Taurus. Fucking body slam. Okay. <laughs> I mean, speed isn't very useful when you're dead, but sure. Uh, oh, fuck it. <laughs> we'll just use Dragon Rage. Because the others, yeah, the others aren't very effective, are they? We have one, two, three health. It sounds like some, like, really shitty private hospital or something. Here at 123 Health, we take your health first, second, and third. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I can just see the commercial. Cue lady smiling with clipboard at camera. No! Oh, <laughs> it's not very effective. Walk me was the camera at an angle. Oh, I was thinking like, um, like a, a half sort of, what is, what's is the word, like a portrait kind of a, a shot of a person? Just like their upper body. Actually, Gyarados. And they're like talking into the camera and, and smiling. Smiling too much. Yeah, we're gonna swap out. Spoons? Yeah, we have a, uh, I have a three-step health plan to make maintaining your health as easy as one, two, three. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I hate it when, like, stuff like that writes itself. When it's that predictable, it, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh my god, Spoons. I guess Spoons did take on the whole gym, but it's kind of crazy that he is almost 50. He's such an old boy.
Wait, his his Alakazam is 50. I feel cheated. He's like, got there first. Go on, use recover. I dare you. Fucking dare you. Why is he not using Psychic? It's like, no, I want to do less damage. And look, his spoons look silver, but my spoon looks gold. I guess that, that sort of is supposed to be the reflection. Like, they've coloured it that way to sort of try and be the reflection. Of his uh, skin. Nineteen ninety two. Uh, uh, sure. Fifty three. That's a that's a big old char lizard. Oh, he's sleepy. Real sleepy. attack him. Well, unless I miss. Nope. What? I was just careless. Here's three and a half grand for winning. Okay. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Ink, you'd need more practice, but hey, <laughs> you know that. I'm out of here, smell it. And now he's going the right way. Although we should probably quick heal. And for some reason we're just gonna walk back. Now I don't know if I got Dream, e Dream Eater. Yawn, I must have dozed off in the sun. Uh, I had this dream about a drowsy, eating my dream. What's this? Where where did this TM come from? Oh, spooky. This is spooky. Here, you can have this TM. Yeah, it's Dream Eater. There you go. Creepypasta before Creepypasta was a thing. Although, I guess Creepypasta has always been a thing. We just didn't call it that. We called it... Scary... Tales. S scary... Stories. <laughs> it's like, well, what did we call memes before memes? Because it's, it's a mixture of, like, in-jokes, catchphrases... And th that's kind of it, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, memes are just in-jokes that aren't, aren't very exclusive. It, they're internet in-jokes. Comics, probably? What, for memes? Oh, that's the boulder badge. Go right ahead. But like in newspapers. Oh, I guess like... Those kind of memes, yeah. But no, even like... Like a catchphrase, especially one that, um, I can't remember the word for it, but when you say something and then someone has to say something back, like, nice to meet you, to meet you, nice. <laughs> like, that's a meme. Because it, it has it has structure in the, in the same kind of way as, as the meme comics and stuff. There's expectation and, and payoff and stuff like that. And it's not really funny, but... It's an in-in joke that everyone gets, so they feel included. You can only pass if you have the rainbow badge. I lost it. Well, then go right ahead. <laughs> I believe you. Although, there's no Pokemon Center up there, is there? 
No, I don't think there is. So we should only go this direction if we want to go all the way through, which we don't. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty much time. I'll tell you what. I want to go to Safari Zone. Yeah, after the cave, but that's that's going to be like, you know, the best part of an hour. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Safari Zone. I'm going to, well, I'm going to save it outside the Safari Zone, so... If I, because I know that the that I have to catch Kangaskhan and Taurus, but if I forget, I'll still sort of know that there was something that I had to do, and then I'll turn it on and I'll be like, oh yeah, 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 because I'm here. Oh shit! <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen then. I thought there was a path. Out of the corner of my eye. God, we're approaching 30 hours. I'll admit four of those hours were in Fast Forward uh, today, when I was training the low-level Pokémon to uh, evolve. With the stones. The stone the, the stone Pokémon. Alright. I'm gonna leave it here for, for tonight. Ugh, it's fucking boiling in here as well. And the weather's only gonna get hotter, so that's nice. But, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye-bye. See ya. Bye.